everybody. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Today we're going to have a look at growing some onions. Now, a lot of people have these onions at home. What happens is if we don't use them quick enough, they start to grow these shoots out the top. Okay, because the onion is like a bulb. So some people might have grown plants before from bulbs, such as daffodils, tulips, crocuses. Well, this is just a vegetable version. An onion is a bulb. And if we don't use it quick enough, it starts to grow again. Okay, so what you need to do is find an onion at home that's started to sprout some green shoots out the top. Okay? And we're going to grow some more onions from it. Right then, so the skills we're going to look at using today is if you're reading the instructions at home, uh, there's obviously a reading skill there. You can write down what you've been using and how you've done it. So your writing skills are there. If you can follow the instructions, either the instructions that are written down uh, and the instructions off the computer, or you can follow the instructions from me, that's a brilliant skill to use. So you're copying what I'm doing, as well as following the instructions. The cutting method we're going to use, which is the bridge method, which some of you might have used before. I'm gonna show you how to do that. That's a really great independent living skill. Okay, so it allows you to uh, cut vegetables, cut fruit, cut larger items that you can fit your hand over without going anywhere near your skin. You're going to be using some listening skills today. So if you're listening to me and then following what I'm doing, that's a brilliant skill. We're going to use some math skills. So we're going to be counting how many shoots we've got coming off. You might have one, you may have 10, we don't know. We can also at home, if you want to, you could measure your shoots, measure the roots at the bottom. You can either estimate it or you could use a ruler or a tape measure or anything you've got to hand. And also a very important skill is we're going to be using gentle hands. So some things require us to be gentle. So we're going to be practicing doing that today. Okay, so the tools you were going to need for this activity is obviously an onion that started sprouting. Yours might not be as big as mine, that's fine. It might just have a little sprout on the top, that's absolutely fine. We're going to need a knife. I've just got a butter knife, so there's nothing sharp on there. If you're confident at home, with your parents or carers to use a sharp knife or you want to have a go at using a sharper knife uh, with some support from somebody else, that's fine, give it a go. Remember, we'll be using the bridge method. And finally, um, I've, got a, I've got a jar here with some, with some water in. You could use a glass jar as well, or you could use uh, a pot, uh, that's going to hold the water in, so nothing with any holes in the bottom. So you might want to use a yoghurt pot or any other pot you might have that's been left over. Make sure to give it a nice wash out first so there's nothing left in there. Really nice to have something clear because when you put your onion shoots in there, you're going to be able to see the roots growing. Okay. It's a really, really nice activity to do and the roots grow really quickly. So hopefully within about two days of putting them in some water, you're going to see some shoots growing. So really good. You're going to want to put all your tools out on the table with you. OK, because you don't want to keep getting up and down to get different things. OK, so the first thing you're going to want to do for your onion is start peeling off the outside. Okay, so peel off the papery skin. Okay, she should come off quite easily. And if you can see where the roots are coming through here, you can peel off really easily from them. Okay, 
and keep peeling it round. Peel off everything you've got on there. It'll just make it a little bit easier to cut. Now, some of you out there who have done ILS before, which is independent living skills, so if you've done cooking at college, you may well have used the bridge method. Okay, so the bridge method, some of you might be able to tell your parents and carers, is a very safe way of cutting fruits and vegetables at home without hurting yourself. I'm going to use a butter knife today and I suggest if you haven't done much cutting before that you use the butter knife too just to keep yourselves nice and safe. Okay so we've peeled off the skin but we've left on the bottom the roots Okay, so here comes the bridge method. Okay, for the bridge method, we make a bridge with our hand. Okay, so here's the bridge. You can see. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the onion. It's growing all the way through the middle there. Or the are the new shoots of the onion. So we're going to cut slightly to the side of the middle, okay? We don't want to cut all the way through because we don't want to cut these nice new lovely shoots growing in the middle. So I want to cut just to the right or the left of the middle, okay? Using our bridge method to hold our onion nice and firm. We're going to cut through just a little bit Okay, so there you can see I haven't cut all the way through, I've just cut down a little bit. Okay, now to get to these shoots in the middle, we're going to break open, peel open the onion. Okay, so there's lots of layers to an onion, and we're going to start peeling them open. As you peel them open, Okay, you're going to start seeing where the new shoots are growing. Okay, so already I can split this onion into two. Okay, so I've got one growing here. I'll break that off. Still got the roots on the end. Okay. So keep peeling. And the more you peel, the more it's going to separate into smaller pieces. Okay, so I'm just using my nail there just to peel off the little shoots. As you can see, look, there's another one that I can pull off here. Okay, keeping the roots on the end. You can peel off some more layers here. Okay. And again, I could pull that apart, leaving some of the roots on the end. Okay, you see, tiny little roots still there. Right, so, still left with this bigger piece. You might have a big piece like this too. I'm going to take a few layers off and see if it separates into any more pieces.
and get your counting skills in here because you can count how many new shoots you've got growing. Okay, it doesn't look like it's going to separate into any more. Okay. It was just the fleshy part around the edge that needed to come off. Oh no, it will. It will separate into two more, I see. There we go. Separated into two more. Okay. You're going to want to throw this onion away or else it's going to start stinging your eyes. So I'm going to throw that away now and I'll be back. Okay, so I've got rid of the little bit of onions we've peeled off because I don't want it stinging my eyes. And from this onion, I've ended up with one, two, three, four, five. So from that one old onion, I'm going to be able to grow how many? Five, five new onions, and that's fantastic. Okay, if you want an opportunity now to measure, you could measure how long your new shoots are. And you could do that every couple of days and see how much they grow. OK, mine are all different sizes. Right now, you're going to take your either your jar of water, which I said, if it's something clear, something that you can see into really, really good because you can see the roots growing and they will grow within about two days. I'll start growing. So um, it's not something you've got to wait a long time for. You can see it almost straight away, which is really good. So. You're going to take your little shoots that you've peeled from your onion and you're going to pop them into your water. OK. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. OK, so I'm now going to put this on my windowsill in my kitchen because my windowsill lets in a lot of sunlight. And if you can remember the three things that plants need to grow, they need sunlight. They need their energy. So that could be from the compost or it could be from these will take their energy from here to begin with. And they also need water. OK, so there's plenty, plenty of water in here. So I'm going to go and pop my onions on my windowsill. You can go and pop them somewhere that's sunny and warm. So it doesn't have to be a windowsill. It could be uh, maybe if your back door lets a lot of light through or uh, somewhere in your living room that lets light through somewhere it's nice and warm and they can grow okay fab so i've put my onions on my windowsill now so they're nice and warm and sunny and hopefully i can show you them in a couple of days time um, and show you how the roots have started to grow once the roots have started to grow quite long we'll do another lesson where we pot them in some soil OK, so they'll get lots of nice nutrients and energy and food from that soil and we'll plant them outside. And then hopefully when they're fully grown, I'll be able to show pulling them up and we'll have five new onions. OK. So from that task, how did you think you did with your skills? Did you listen to me? Did you follow my instructions and copy what I was doing? Or did you read the instructions from the task sheet? OK, there's also another task sheet to go along with this activity where you can write what you did. So you can write what tools you used. You can write what skills you used. You can write about how you did things. You can also write about how you kept safe. You can tell me how many uh, new sprouting um, shoots you had coming off your onion. OK, 
did you manage to be gentle? Or was it a bit difficult to be gentle? Did you need a little bit of help? Would you be able to be independent? You you tell me, you, you fill in the sheet. You can even do some drawings alongside your writing and show me exactly what happened. Okay, I'll also attach for you to have a go at um, is your onion diary. Okay, so every couple of days you could fill your onion diary in. You can tell me if anything's grown, how much it's grown. You could draw a new picture of it. Okay, you can describe what's happening to the new shoots of the onion. Okay, I hope you enjoy that and let me know how you get on. Thanks.